I start having panic attacks. I feel like what caused my panic attacks was bullying. I'll be scared to talk to people because if I open my mouth, they'll see my teeth. Then they'll start talking about me. When I was three, I was diagnosed with leukemia. For a few years, my family was in the shambles. They knew that it was gonna be tough here when they first got here to the United States, but they didn't know that I was gonna end up with cancer. I got involved in access in middle school. They just continued to help me throughout middle school and high school, and they're still continuing to help me now. Yana knows I'll fight for her, and I think she doesn't want me to get started, as she say. Now, I didn't tell you that because you would, you, you're right. <laughs> Aunt Christy said, I will get a second job to make sure that Yana attends a great high school. She didn't have to get that second job because access is there for the both of them. My parents see me and my siblings as a sign of hope. Their family reminds me so much of my own family, and their parents want nothing more for them than to be able to have these educational opportunities just like my parents wanted for us. The standard that I put on myself is really hard sometimes. I know that I'm from a small school, and I'm going to this big school. Miss Amy is like another mom. She literally helps me with everything. When I'm looking at the fast, it's very stressful because it's so much to fill in and it's overwhelming. It really is eye-opening just how difficult it is for students who are first-gen or who do qualify for a Pell Grant to access the resources that they deserve.